North Korean television has broadcasted footage of the country's latest giant missile test, with leader Kim Jong-un and his daughter watching. The footage showed a massive transporter erector launcher vehicle, commonly referred to as a TL, setting up for the launch. North Korea's official state news agency KCNA said that the missile flew thousands of kilometers into the sky and into space before falling into the sea east of the country. The images shown by North Korean television of the latest missile test have not been independently verified. On Friday, KCNA identified the missile as Wasong-19 ICBM and called it the world's strongest strategic missile and the perfected weapon system. KCNA said leader Kim Jong-un observed the launch, describing it as an appropriate military action to express North Korea's resolve to respond to its enemies' moves that escalated tensions and threats to North Korea's national security. It said Kim thanked weapons scientists for demonstrating North Korea's matchless strategic nuclear attack capability. South Korea's military earlier said that North Korea could have tested a solid-fueled missile but Friday's KCNA dispatch didn't say what propellant the Wasong-19 ICBM uses. Observers say the color of exhaust flames seen in North Korean media photos on the launch still suggest the new ICBM uses solid fuels. Before Thursday's test, North Korea's most advanced ICBM was known as the Wasong-18 missile which uses solid fuels. Preloaded solid propellants make it easier to move missiles and require much less launch preparation times than liquid propellants that must be fueled before liftoffs. So it's more difficult for opponents to detect launches by solid fuel missiles. In recent years, North Korea has reported steady advancement in its efforts to obtain nuclear-tipped missiles. Chingaman 거리 1,001km를 5,156초간 비행하여 조선동해 공해상 예정 목표 수역에 탄착됐습니다. 시험 발사는 주변 국가들의 안전에 그 어떤 부정적 영향도 주지 않았습니다. 적을 다스릴 수 있고 억제할 수 있는 강력한 힘으로 보수하는 평화만이 국방과학 집단과 전략 미사일 병들은 주체 혁명의 경기창을 더욱 불필곳으로 강력하게 다져나가며 
국가의 핵 대응 태세를 강화하기 위한 성스러운 투쟁에 용기 백배 헌신 분투해 나갈 불같은 교리를 다짐했습니다. 노스 코리아 테스트 론치 a suspected new long-range missile designed to strike the continental U.S. on Thursday. The specific long-range missile capabilities North Korea was testing were not known, but the launch was likely meant to grab American attention ahead of the U.S. election Tuesday. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said it detected a ballistic missile launch from North Korea's capital region around 7.10 a.m. and that the weapon flew toward the waters between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. It said the weapon was launched on a high angle and it was suspected of being a long-range ballistic missile. Japanese Defense Minister Gen Nakatani told reporters that a preliminary examination shows the launch could involve a new missile, citing its flight duration of 1 hour and 26 minutes, which he said is the longest for a North Korean missile test. He said the missile landed in waters outside of the Japanese exclusive economic zone but condemned North Korea's nuclear and missile development for threatening the safety of Japan and the international community. South Korea and Japan said they are closely coordinating with the U.S. about the North Korean launch. The United States described the weapon as an intercontinental ballistic missile and condemned North Korea for the launch, saying it violated UN Security Council resolutions and, needlessly, risked raising tensions. North Korea last test-fired an intercontinental ballistic missile in December 2023, when it launched the solid-fueled Wasong-18. え、ま、あの、従来のミサイルとは別のまたミサイルではないかなというふうに思います。で、え、国民の命と財産を守り抜くため引き続き、え、米国、え、韓国等の関係機関とも密接に連携をしまして、情報の収集、分析、警戒監視に全力で当たるとともに、え、今後追加すべき情報がありましたら、速やかに発表をすること